Howdy everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Paul Bishop. I am with Death Bat Paranormal. I have my girlfriend here with me, Grace. And I want to go ahead and do a live video real quick because we are in Skowhegan, Maine, which is actually where we live. And I was looking up haunted areas and stuff mainly around this way. And I have stumbled across uh, a Strand Cinema. Um, and it is one of the most haunted actually in America, I found out. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, reports of a woman that had jumped off a top balcony and committed suicide. There has been, um, uh, you know, stuff that has been said about, you know, things have been grabbing people in there. Even a woman literally quit her job at the Strand Movie Cinema uh, several years back. Uh, she quit her job because she was so much in fear of what might happen at the cinema because things were grabbing her. She was seeing things. There has been reports from the uh, the managers and stuff like that that work there that up in uh, the bit the office where the business room is that uh, in Strand Movie Cinema that there has been papers thrown and tossed everywhere in every direction. Um, so I want to show you guys what Strand Movie Cinema looks like. I cannot go in there today because they are closed uh, due to the COVID-19 epidemic. I will be giving them a phone call to do a paranormal investigation eventually, and I'm also kind of stocking up on equipment. So guys, this is what Strand Movie the uh, Cinema looks like. It is one of the most haunted in America. You can check it out. It's in Skowhegan, Maine. But here it is. This is one of the most haunted cinemas in America. This is where it all happened. It, it looks really small. It, it don't look like anything that you really have to be worried about, but after all the activity that has happened here, it definitely has caught the eye of everyone in America. It has a little booth here. Check this out, guys. This is what the old booths would have looked like when they would be taking tickets. This is... You wouldn't think this would be the most, one of the most haunted places in the world. I, I, I don't... Is it illegal to look into the door? I get the bejeebies just being right at this place, guys. I mean, I just feel fucking cold chills going through me. I mean, this place, I mean, there's been suicides here. There's been fucking, this place has been through American history. It's been through wars. If I'm not mistaken, two world wars. I mean, this place is fucking, like I said, crawling with history. I mean, so much to the point that there's been a lot of death that's happened here. There's been a lot of uh, workers that have quit their jobs because they've been touched or because they have seen things. It's made them very uneasy. There's been papers thrown off their desk. There has been a lot of anomalies that have been caught at this very place right here. Strand Movie Cinema. Um, this, is, Like I said, this is in Skowhegan, Maine. Let's check this out. They, they have what? For in March, they did. I guess they haven't had anything planned since March. All right, so they've been pretty much closed down, I guess, since uh, since March. But they still do play movies. It looks like they're still running. That's impressive. I mean, we're standing right here in a part of American history, and it um, it's nuts that so many people, I mean, have either seen or heard things. There's rumors of an old man that just laughs hysterically. He goes and sits down into the movie cinema where, where they watch the movies. And, I mean, there has been accounts where he is laughing hysterically. And it has freaked the workers out so much that they have ran out the room. And they've called for their bosses and stuff to come check. And they've even had the police department come to this very location to walk through and check to make sure that nothing was there. Um, and, of course, the police department did not find anything. Um, but, like I said, I mean, there is a gigantic hole in the wall. They think that it, it's a very dark area of Strand Cinema Theater. And um, it, it definitely freaks people out. Is this dude going into Strand? Probably. He's probably not one of the owners, is he? I want to see maybe if I can get in with one of them. I can do an investigation. I can at least run an EVP and uh, do a, a live investigation on the place. I know it's a lot difficult because of uh, the COVID-19 and everything that's going on, but is this a part of Strand? Uh, I think this is just the area of the Because this looks like it's where a cinema is back there. Yeah. But I know they have apartments above and stuff. 
they have apartments here? Yeah. So these are these are residences of where people live and shit. Yeah. Well, like I said, um, you know it's pretty bad when you freak out the police department. <laughs> when the police department starts getting freaked out, you know you got some places really haunted and bad. Um, I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to try to make a connection with the spirits and the souls here that have died. Um, you know, there's a lot of hearsay. Um, a lot of people don't believe in spirits. A lot of people don't believe in ghosts. That's completely okay. That's fine. But um, the thing is, is you don't know what the unexpected, you don't know what's out there. Um, and there have been people um, like myself that have had spiritual encounters in my life. And it has impacted and influenced me. Uh, a lot of us are made into thinking that we're crazy, that we're on drugs, that we're, you know, going through something else. Um, and when it's not all the way true, that, you know, there is an unexpected world out there that we just cannot see. And sometimes it takes a little bit more paying attention to to be able to notice that it's real in there. Um, and that's what we do in the paranormal investigator world. Um, we basically try to prove to everybody that the existence, we try to get the spirits of the dead and their voice heard because, I mean, you know, there's so many religions out there, there's so many aspects to this world, but nobody can really give a direct response to what happens when you die. And for instance, scientifically, if you do die, your spirit leaves the body, your body becomes the shell, you know, you're kind of stuck in limbo. You know what I'm saying? All, in, in, in reality, what you would want is somebody to acknowledge that you're there. Because after a while, I can imagine that it gets pretty lonely. Um, you know, that is if that is legitimate and that there is no afterlife, guys. Um... But like I said, this is Strand Movie Cinema. It has been here since, it says right here, since uh, 1929, this part was built. Um, this is the old part of the building. And just standing here, like I said, it makes my skin crawl. I got goosebumps just standing here. Uh, we have looked into the doors. It's very dark in there right now. I think that they had closed down. Last show that they had aired was in March. But due to the COVID-19 and everything that's broken out, they've kind of shut things down. Uh, but we will host an investigation here if they will let me. Um, I will get in contact with hopefully the owner or someone that runs this place. It has been passed down the, uh, the tree in the family and generation to generation from what I understand. And Maybe they can give us a little bit more of a history of an interview. I'll also basically be following this investigation if they okay it with a documentary on Strand Movie Cinema um, dedicated to it. Um, from what I understand, they have had ghost teams come in here, and the ghost teams have gotten major activity, guys, um, and it's all over YouTube. You guys can look it up, Strand uh, Strand Cinema, Skowhegan, Maine, and you can look up some of the documentation that the other, uh, that the other groups have gotten. They've dedicated their lives to the, to the paranormal and doing uh, investigations on places like this. Uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to go ahead and show you that. I figured maybe you guys would find that interesting. If you don't, well, sorry about your luck. But, uh, you know, I'm going to come back, try to follow up with an investigation. I'll keep you guys posted if they okay it or not. And then we'll go from there. Uh, this is Paul Bishop. This is Death Bat from Death Bat Paranormal. This is my girlfriend, Grace. And uh, remember, keep your eyes open because you never know what's out there. Later, guys.